so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Ho 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 ho! Aloha! It's me, Blippi! Look at where I'm at! Yeah! Today, I'm at this beautiful pond, which is at Kualoa Ranch, which is on Oahu, which is an island of Hawaii. Wow, what a beautiful place this is. And do you see this pond? They actually have a lot of oysters in here. Yeah, they farm oysters. Oh, oysters are really cool animals. Yeah, they're about this big, and then they have a shell, kind of like a turtle. Oh, look way out there. Looks like someone's working out there. Maybe we can go figure out how they farm oysters. A boat, let's go. <laughs> cool, what a really radical boat. Whoa, and any time that you get in a boat, make sure you're with a grown up as well as you have a life preserver. In this one, you actually put your arms through. Cool. <laughs> All right, let me set that down. Whoa, this boat looks like so much fun. Whoa, and this is the throttle, and this tells you what gear you're in. All right, I should probably untie myself from the dock, so then we can head out to the barge and find out how oysters are farmed. All right, here we go. Look at that beautiful mountain. It is so tall. Whoa, and it's so nice being out on the water. Wow, <laughs> what a beautiful day it is today. Floating down the river, sailing on the sea, cruising on the ocean, boats are for me. I saw a boat pulling another, I didn't know the boat so I asked my mother, she said that's a tugboat son. I saw a boat going faster and farther I didn't know the boat so I asked my father He said that's a speedboat son I saw a boat full of fishermen I saw a boat full of businessmen I saw a boat You know what it was doing Floating down the river Sailing on the sea, cruising on the ocean, boats are for me. I saw a boat transporting cargo, I didn't know the boat, so I asked my friend Marco. He said, that's a cargo ship. I saw a boat with planes on top, I didn't know the boat, so I asked my friend Rob, he said that's an aircraft carrier. I saw a boat that was firefighting, I saw a boat that was bright as lightning, I saw a boat, you know what it was doing, floating down the river. Sailing down the sea, cruising on the ocean, boats are for me. Sea, cruising on the 
ocean, boats are for me. Wow, this is so much fun. And I'm so excited to figure out how oysters are farmed. Oh, what are those? I wonder if that's where the oysters are. Oh, whoa, there's so many of them. Do you see those? Kind of looks like baskets or cages. Huh, I can't see any oysters though. I wonder if they'll know what these are at the barge. Let's go find out. Oh, cool! Hey, who are you? My name is Anthony. Nice to meet you. What do you do here? I'm the Kualoa Ranch Oyster Farm Manager. Oh, cool. Yeah, we knew these were here. We heard that you folks have oysters. What kind of oysters are these? These are Pacific oysters. Oh, really? Oh, they look so big. And those look so small. Can we check them out? Absolutely. Oh. So these are the seed. Okay. Oh, seed. What does that mean? These are just the baby oysters. Okay, baby oysters. Yeah, they're not actually seeds, but you call them seeds when they're a baby. Whoa, cool, can I hold them? Absolutely. Oh, check it out. Whoa, yeah, they are pretty small. Ooh, look at this one. This one is so small. Whoa, and how big do they get? They get really big. So that's what the next basket is. Oh, okay. can we you check these out? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> cool. Whoa, and how long does it take from them whoa, to grow from a seed size to these big size? So these are five and a half months old. Whoa. And these are ready to eat. Wow, that grows so fast from that small. How does it grow so fast? They get a lot of their phytoplankton from the waters here in Moli'i fish pond. Whoa, cool. Phytoplankton. So they suck in the water which has phytoplankton in it? Yeah, they're filter feeders. Whoa. So they're filtering about 50 gallons a day. Whoa, wait a second. So does that mean since they're a filter, it cleans the water while they grow? Yes, and that's how we help to restore the quality of the fish pond. Wow, that is amazing. And are these ready to eat? Yes, these are ready to eat. Whoa, really? We can oh, eat them? Oh no, they're not. We actually skipped a step. Oh, what do you mean? We have to go check out our oyster cleaning station. Oh, they're ready to eat for the size, but we need to clean them. All right, can we go clean them? Yes. All right, let's go. <laughs> Whoa, cool, I'm so excited. Whoa, what's this for? This is our oyster cleaning tray. Oh, oyster cleaning tray. Ooh, and I definitely know what this is. Yeah, hose. All right, how do you get started? Okay, so first we're gonna unload the oysters into our cleaning tray. Whoa, now this is a lot of oysters. And yeah, I definitely can see how they're a little dirty. All right, what's the next step? So, Blippi, do you mind if yeah. you spray some of these? Sure. We're gonna clean them off of all the debris. Okay, here we go. Whoa, yeah, this is fun. <laughs> all right. Oh, perfect, a little more or is that good? Maybe a little bit more, yeah. Okay, all right. Whoa! All right. They definitely look a little cleaner. All right. So now we're going to spread them out so they're evenly distributed on the tray. Okay. So we're going to do it one at a time. Okay. And one, usually we count. <laughs> yes. Two. <laughs> three. <laughs> four. Whoa, you're really fast. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, there's so many of them. Wow. What do you think about when you do this part? I think about how many oysters people are going to eat. Whoa! Yeah, it must be cool to know that you raise these and then people are going to enjoy them as a meal. Yes, Whoa. that is the most satisfying part of being a farmer. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And since we washed our hands earlier and these are all lined up, now are they ready to eat? One more step. We yeah. got to take them to their oyster cleaning bath. Oh, that sounds like fun. I love baths. Rotate this. Rotate it, okay. Right here? Yes. All right. Whoa, they're really heavy. Wow. All okay, right. we'll place it down in the water gently. Wow. Check it out. We just set these oysters down in their bath. Yeah, just like how you take a bath, these oysters are gonna get nice and clean. So how does this bath work? 
So we fill this with fresh filtered seawater and it's gonna be pumped through the system past a UV sterilizer. So we're killing all the pathogenic bacteria. Wow. So this right here is the filter? UV sterilizer. Oh, wow. And then it comes out right here and it falls in the bath. Why does it come out right here? So that allows us to aerate the water so the oysters are nice and happy and can breathe. Oh, so then they can breathe underwater. Whoa, and then they breathe in this clean water and then they get rid of, yes. what do they get so rid of? They're expelling all of the waste that they bring in during the filter feeding process. Oh, like what kind of waste? So we're looking at debris like sand, dirt. Oh, so then even the inside, not just the outside, but the inside of the oyster is nice and clean. Whoa, cool. So how long do these oysters hang out in this nice cozy bath for? Yeah, so they've been hanging out in this cozy bath for 48 hours. Oh, and why do you even have them in this bath? So we really want to make sure that you and your family are safe when you're eating shellfish. So this helps to get rid of any harmful bacteria. Oh, all right. So do you have any that have been hanging out for 48 hours so then they're nice and safe for maybe me to try one? I think you're in luck. Really? Yeah, let's go take a seat over here and we'll serve you some fresh oysters. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Whoa, I am so excited to try an oyster. Oh, I bet they're very yummy. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, buddy. Oh, this looks very yummy. Oh. So here are your fresh Pacific oysters. Wow, there's so many of them. Whoa, check it out. Man, you they look- try one? Yeah, very clean, huh? All right. Okay, how do you open it up? Okay, so we're gonna use a knife and pop the hinge. Okay. Whoa, that looks like a special knife just for this, huh? Yeah, it's designed specially for opening up our nice oysters. Wow, and look, looks like the top right there. Very cool. All right, and what did you do right there? So I just flipped it and presented it to you with the fat side up. Oh, yeah, that definitely looks great. <laughs> So enjoy that. I got to get back to work with you. It's a pleasure. All right. Fun hanging out. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. See ya. Wow. Wasn't that a fun day learning how people farm oysters? I know. All right. Here we go. Mmm. Very yummy. And salty, too. <laughs> wow. I'll put this back. And I'm going to save all these for later. I'm so excited to eat the rest of them. <laughs> Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. And I sure did have a lot of fun learning how to farm an oyster with you. Aloha. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy, and look at where we're at. Yeah, today we're at the MK Nature Center in Boise, Idaho. Wow, and this nature center is actually part of the Idaho Fish and Game. Wow, today you and I are gonna learn about some native animals to Idaho. This is gonna be so much fun. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, oh hey, who are you? Hi. Hey, I'm Nicole. Welcome to our visitor center. Wow, cool. Nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Whoa. Well, how do you explore this place? So what you want to do is you want to follow the animal tracks along the building, and then you want to go outside onto our nature trail and visit outside. Whoa, cool. Binoculars. Wow, well, thank you so much. Of course. Have fun. See ya. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Look at these. Whoa, they look like bird's nests. Wow, there's different types in here. One way up there, and it's really small. Ooh, and one way down here on the ground, but it's really big. Hey, that's interesting. Different types of birds put their nests at different heights. Whoa, hey, and speaking of differences, look at how neat this one is. Yeah, a bird made that with its very own beak and feet. Whoa, and down here, Whoa, this one is made out of feathers. Wow, yeah, they use their own feathers. Whoa, and this one is really sloppy, <laughs> but it definitely still holds eggs. Yeah, 
birds use nests like a home. Yeah, they lay their eggs in the nest and then the birds hatch. And then the birdies can fly. <laughs> hey, why don't we head outside and maybe later, maybe we'll find a nest. But let's just go explore. <laughs> Whoa, this place is awesome. And it's so much fun following these footsteps. <laughs> Whoa, look up there. Whoa, a big horn sheep. Yeah, I can tell why they call it a big horn sheep. Yeah, because it has big horns. Whoa, and those are actually horns, not antlers. Yeah, horns always stay with the animal, but antlers, yeah, they shed them every single year. Whoa, cool, see ya. <laughs> whoa, speaking of antlers, whoa, look at this elk. Wow, this is a Rocky Mountain elk. Do you see the antlers? They're so big. Whoa, and so pointy too. Yeah, every single year, this elk, yeah, it'll shed its antlers and grow new ones back. Whoa, super cool. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Yeah, a grizzly bear. Whoa, and do you see how big it is? Whoa, it's so fierce. Whoa, and I know it's a grizzly bear because it's brown and it's so big. And oh, another sign is, you see that bump on its back? Yeah, they dig so much that then they grew a bunch of muscle. Yeah, and it has a bump on its back. Yeah, and its head, it even has a little ridge. Yeah, like a snowboard jump. Whoa! <laughs> Yeah, but these grizzly bears, they're way up north in Idaho. Yeah, they don't come down here near Boise. <laughs> We're safe here. <laughs> oh, speaking of bears, look at this one. Whoa, this is actually a black bear, but it looks like a brown bear or a grizzly bear, doesn't it? Yeah, because it's brown, it's actually a black bear. And black bears can even be brown. Whoa, and they love lots of food. Yeah, they eat meat. Ooh, they even eat berries. They might even climb up in the tree and eat some honey. Speaking of honey, do you hear that? Yeah, I think I hear bees. Whoa, let's follow the footsteps and find those bees. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, and look down here. Yeah. Do you see this hole? Yeah, that's where the bees are coming from. Whoa, and those honeybees look like they're just working. And do you see how I'm not getting stung? Yeah, it's because I'm being nice and gentle. I'm respecting them and I'm giving them some space. I just wanted to say, hello. <laughs> All right, see you later bees. <laughs> Nature is amazing. Whoa, look at this. Ooh, looks like we have some owls. Oh, that's so silly. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Whoa, I'm having so much fun today, aren't you? Yeah! Wow, look at this place! Ooh, looks like a lot of water around here. Whoa, look over there! Oh, do you see that? Yeah, it looks like a dam. Yeah, I can tell because there's some water down below. Yeah, and then there's some water up above. I bet some beavers built that dam. Yeah, beavers love to build dams with all those logs and mud and leaves and branches. Yeah, and then they go underneath and then they dig some stuff out and then they make what's called a lodge. Basically like a home. Whoa, really cool. <laughs> Whoa, look over here, some animals. Whoa, quack, quack, quack. Yeah, those are ducks. Yeah, those are actually mallard ducks to be exact. Whoa, oh yeah, do you see that one? Yeah, it has a green head on it. Yeah, that is a male duck. And the duck that is all brown, 
That's a female duck. Whoa, so cool. Yeah, ducks love to swim on top of the water. Yeah, and then some dive down underwater to catch some food. Yeah, vegetation on the bottom. And then some stay on top of the water and then just tilt and then eat. Oh, so cool. <laughs> ducks are awesome. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, check it out. Look at this. Whoa, it looks like a giant fish. Whoa, it is so big. Yeah, this is actual size. And this is a sturgeon. Whoa, sturgeons are massive. Whoa, I wonder if I'm as long as a sturgeon. Let me see. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Am I as long as a sturgeon? <laughs> no, it was longer than me. Whoa, this is such a big fish. Yeah, sturgeons love to hang out at the bottom. Yeah, underwater. And then they're actually really, really old. Well, not all of them, but they're ancient fish. Sturgeons have been on our planet since the dinosaur times. Whoa, those are some old fish. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can find some more fish. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Yeah, back there, there's a pond. And then it's full of water, obviously. And there's these glass things right here. So then we can peek underwater into the pond. Come on. <laughs> oh, whoa, yeah. There's fish in there. Whoa, hello. Hey, it's me, Flippy. Whoa, do you see those fish? Yeah, those are called rainbow trout. Whoa, and they're so colorful. Maybe that's why they call them Rainbow trout. Yeah, because they look like a rainbow because they're so colorful. Oh, check this out. Whoa, yeah, we have some fish snacks. Oh, they actually gave me permission that I can feed the fish. <laughs> All right, are you hungry, fish? Here you go. Yum, yum, yum. Whoa, they're definitely hungry. Whoa, there you go. Whoa, whoa, look at them go. Okay, here's just a little more for you. <laughs> whoa, there's even a duck up there. Do you see it? Hello, duck. <laughs> yeah, that's a mallard. <laughs> hey, here you go. <laughs> cool. <laughs> whoa, check it out. Do you see this? Yeah, this is a bald eagle's nest. Yeah, it's a replica of the largest one ever found in the United States of America. It is so big, huh? Wow, bald eagles are so cool. They come back every single year to the same nest and they keep building and building and building. Hey, remember earlier how we saw all those other nests? Yeah, it's really cool how every bird has a different type of nest. Oh, hey. Will you act like a bald eagle with me? Yeah! Whoa! That was so silly! Hey, why don't we keep exploring and maybe we'll be able to meet a real bird? Yeah, let's go! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Are you having a great day? <laughs> I am too. <gasps> Whoa, look at what it is. Whoa, hey, who are you? I'm Mariah. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Who's your friend? This is Wilson. Oh, hey, Wilson. Wow, what a cool looking bird. What kind of bird is Wilson? Wilson is a peregrine falcon. Whoa, a peregrine falcon. Whoa, Wilson looks very fast. How fast does Wilson fly? Wilson can reach speeds of 214 miles per hour. Whoa, 214 miles an hour? Wow, that's about 350 kilometers an hour. Whoa, how old is Wilson? Wilson is seven years old. Whoa, seven, so old. Wow, well, it was nice to meet you, Wilson. And nice to meet you, Mariah. Nice to meet you too, Blippi. All right, see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> 
This has been such a fun day. Whoa, oh, there's a little Tweety bird. Tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> cool. Whoa, it's been so much fun hanging out in the wilderness with you. Wow, I sure do love nature. Yeah, there's water. Oh, it sounds so nice. Oh, and there's some birds. Wow. <laughs> oh. Whoa, cool. <laughs> Whoa, have you been having fun? <laughs> I've been having so much fun with you too. Wow, I sure do love learning with you. Wow, and we sure did learn a lot today. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. What? If you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. Whoa. -ho 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 -ho. <laughs> hey, look at where I'm at now. Right now, I'm at Cares in Burien, Washington. Yeah. C a r e s cares yeah cares is an animal shelter yeah this is where the animals live until maybe someone like you comes down to then adopt the pet these pets need a new home let's see what pets are inside do you see this dog yeah this is a really small dog kind of like a baby dog. <laughs> yeah, really small dogs like this. These are called puppies. <laughs> Here you go. Woo, this is Sapphire. Oh, she's such a cute kitty. Hey, Sapphire. How are you? Oh, she's so soft. <laughs> this is Cuddles. <laughs> she loves to cuddle. Oh, she's so soft. And she loves to play. That was so much fun spending some time at my local animal shelter. Well, hey, even if you can't adopt a pet, you can still come down and volunteer your time. Yeah, you can come on down and pet the pets. Maybe they'll even let you walk a pooch <laughs> or play with a cat in the little cat room. <laughs> well, that was so much fun. Right now, I'm at Pause and Relax in Burien, Washington. Yeah, it's a daycare. Ooh, Lino, does that feel good? <laughs> yeah, a daycare that has a playground. You know, a playground that you get to play at? Yeah, this is a doggy playground, and Lino and I are playing here. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we let Lino run around? Whoa! And playgrounds are a lot more fun when there's a lot of friends. <laughs> Let's bring on some doggy friends. <laughs> oh, look at how many friends Lino has. Okay, now it's time for Lino's bath and haircut. Oh, I bet he's gonna feel so clean and so fresh after this. <laughs> All right, let's take him inside. Here we go, Lino. Whoa, 
Whoa, check it out. Look at this pink platform. Yeah, this is what all the pooches stand on. And this is a nice purple belly strap right here. And then a neck strap. Yeah, this is called the groomer's helper. So then it makes sure that the pooch doesn't fall off the table while it's getting groomed. Hey, come check this out. Whoa, see this toolbox? There's a lot of things that the groomers use inside this toolbox. Wow, that is so cool. All right, first we have some shampoo. This is plum flavored shampoo. <laughs> Ah. Ooh, and it looks like we have some clippers up here. Whoa. <laughs> That's what you put on the dog's hair, and then it trims it. Ooh, this files down the nails of the dog. Let's turn it on. Whoa. <laughs> That's silly. Okay. Wow. Yeah, these, yeah. These are like scissors. Yeah, but they're actually called shears. Wow. A dog's hair is a lot more fine than a human's hair. And these scissors can really cut a dog's hair really good. So let's put these on the platform. Let's put the, the red colored ones. Okay. Gotta be really careful if you use these shears. Perfect. <laughs> Okay, what else do we need to cut Lino's hair? Hmm, let's see. Oh, <laughs> hey, do you want a haircut? <laughs> hey, do you want a haircut? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like their hair's already cut. Oh, look at this. Wow, a comb. Yeah, just like how you and I comb our hair and brush our hair, dogs need that too. Wow. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> okay, let's put this on the platform. Okay, next to the pair of shears. All right, what else is over here? Wow, looks like we have some sanitation spray. So then when Lino's done, you sanitize everything. So then the next dog can get its hair cut. Whoa, sugar cookies? I love sugar cookies. This is sugar cookie dog perfume. <laughs> this definitely should go over there. Check this out. Another drawer. Wow. There is a lot of cool things in this. Look at that. That kind of looks like a brush. But it doesn't look like a normal brush or a comb. This is called a slicker brush. <laughs> All right, we'll put that over there as well. Whoa, this is gonna be so much fun. Let's see. Remember from earlier these clippers up here? Yeah, see this? These are clipper attachments. You put them on the top and then that is what determines the length of hair. See that? Compared to way shorter. <laughs> okay, let's bring this and a green attachment. Whoa. <laughs> All right. I think we have everything we need <laughs> to cut Lino's hair. All right. So we have clippers, shears, scissors, <laughs> A comb, some dog perfume, <laughs> and a slicker brush. There's a lot more things in there that we'll probably use, but for now, this is good. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Whoa, look at Lino! They took off so much hair. Look! <laughs> Whoa! This is a bunch of Lino's hair. <laughs> wow, it's so soft. Ah, yeah, I could make a pillow out of this. Woo! <laughs> wow! <laughs> hey! <laughs> you like Lino's hair? Does it smell good? <laughs> it's so silly.
Whoa, look, Lino's all done. <laughs> How does he look? Look at his big fluffy ears. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> wow. Ooh, and look at his spooky bandana. <laughs> oh, there's some pumpkins on it. Ooh, and it looks like a llama with a cape. <laughs> wow, all right, Lino, we can go home now. <laughs> Alright! <laughs> bye bye Bye! Well, this is the end of this video. But, if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I! Blippi! Good job! Alright! <laughs> bye bye Woohoo! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and today we're at the Wenatchee River Institute. Yeah, it's an environmental learning center. Ha! <laughs> and today, you and I are gonna take my binoculars and find some birds. Do you like birds? Yeah, I like birds too. And when we explore, maybe we'll see some other neat things. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, hey! I'm just using my binoculars to search and find birds. Do you like birds? Yeah, I do too. Boo, boo. Chirp, 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 chirp. <laughs> oh, birds are so cool. Oh, wouldn't it be nice to be able to fly? Yeah. Well, hey, check these out. These are my binoculars. Yeah, I use these to then be able to see the birds from afar. Yeah, it makes you feel like you're up close and personal with them. So then you can give them their space, which they deserve, but you can see them from afar. Do you see any birds around here? Oh yeah, there it is. Do you see it? Wow, what color bird is that? Oh yeah, you're right. It's the color yellow. Whoa, what a beautiful bird that is. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Why don't I open the bird book and see what kind of bird that is? Hmm, not that bird. Hmm, not that bird. Oh yeah, here it is. That's totally the bird. This is an American goldfinch. Whoa, it's so cute. It's the color yellow. Hey, and it says here that this is the state bird of Washington, which is where we're at right now. Yeah, in Leavenworth. <laughs> Whoa, okay, it's about five inches. That's about 13 centimeters. Hmm, <laughs> cute little one. <laughs> um. It says four to six eggs. Interesting, okay. Seeds and insects that it eats. Yum. <laughs> and, uh, oh, and it says that they always are in, almost always, in small flocks. Wow, that must mean that there must be more of them around here. That is so exciting. Well, and they migrate with about 20 other birds. Well, <laughs> they are so cool. <laughs> All right, I am going to continue to explore. <laughs> hmm, I just can't find any more birds. Huh, do you see any birds anywhere? What, you see a bird? Where? Oh, you're right, right there. Whoa, do you hear that? Yeah, this must be a woodpecker. I love woodpeckers. Okay, let me get out my bird book and see what kind of woodpecker this is. Wow, what a magnificent bird. Okay, let's see here. Oh, uh, no. 
Not that one. <sighs> oh, yeah, this looks like it. This must be a downy woodpecker. Wow, it's about six inches or 15 centimeters tall. It's actually pecking the tree to find insects or maybe to make shelter. Wow, <laughs> it lays about three to five eggs. Okay. Hmm, it eats insects, seeds. Mm, yeah, insects and seeds. That's a pretty good diet. <laughs> wow, what a cool bird that is. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Why don't I use my binoculars to take a closer look? There it is. Wow, that is such a beautiful bird. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Okay, let's put these back and let's see if we can find some more birds. <laughs> see ya! Oh, wow! Hasn't this been fun finding all these birds together? Yeah, I sure do love birds. Hey, check this out! Wow, this is a pine tree. And some birds love hanging out on this type of tree. Huh, I wonder if there's any birds around here. Hmm. Let's see. Let's use our binoculars. Huh. Let's see here. Oh. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Right there. There's a bird. Do you see it? Wow. What color of bird is that? Yeah, it looks like it has a black head. And then there's some white on it. And there's some gray. Okay, let's use our bird book to see what kind of bird this is. All right. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's see. Not that one. Nope, not that one. Um. Let's see here. There's so many different types of birds. Oh, oh, I think I found it. Yeah, this is it. This is a black capped chickadee. Whoa, it's so cute. <laughs> wow, so it's about five inches or 13 centimeters in height. Yeah, they uh, lay about five to seven eggs. Hmm, that's a good amount of eggs. Okay, and huh, seems like they need to feed every single day of the winter. Whoa, they eat a lot of food. <laughs> wow, and you can maybe find these in your backyard around here in Washington State. Wow, it's a common backyard bird. <laughs> wow, what a cool bird. <laughs> Wow, this has been so much fun exploring and finding these birds. <laughs> Do you see any birds around here? Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I can't either. What if we use the binoculars to get a closer look? <laughs> All right. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What a beautiful bird. All right, let's explore this bird book and see what kind of bird it is. Hmm, let's see. Not that bird, not that bird. Yeah, right here. This is a cedar wax ring. Whoa, what a cute bird. Whoa, it says it's about seven and a half inches. That's about 19 centimeters. <laughs> oh, let's see. It lays about four to six eggs. Hmm, that's a good amount of eggs. And uh, it eats cedar cones, fruit, and insects. Wow, what a great bird. I love the cedar waxwing. <laughs> All right, let's put the book away. Let's let the bird be and let's go explore some more. Come on. Wow, 
Wow! This has been so much fun finding all these birds with you. Do you like birds? Yeah! Cool! 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 <laughs> oh, birds are so cool. I love how they have wings and feathers. <laughs> well, hey, I have another really fun thing for us to do together. All right, check this out. These are all the things we need to make our very own birdhouse and to paint it. Okay, first, let's take this piece of wood and let's put the two walls up. Yeah, perfect. There we go. <laughs> and now we have the front door. Oh, oh, <laughs> you have to line everything up. Oh, there we go. Wow, perfect, look. Oh, hey, what is that? Yeah, that is a heart. Whoa, and that heart is how the bird goes inside the birdhouse. <laughs> All right, let's put the back door on. Here we go, line it up. Oh, perfect, there we go. Little tricky, but it works. <laughs> All right, there we go. What are we missing? Yeah, the roof. <laughs> okay, now we have one piece right here. There we go. Okay, now we have a second piece. Now we have a birdhouse. Okay, now we're gonna need to tie this string on the top. See the string? And if we tie it right through here, and then the birdhouse, we're going to be able to put on a tree limb. Yeah, just like we're gonna be able to hang it on a tree limb, and then the birds are gonna have their very own house. Oh, it looks so cozy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay, we're not done yet though. We have some painting to do. I have a paintbrush and I have some paint. Oh, look at that. Wow. Okay, let's dip the paintbrush in there. Now that we have the color orange, now we can paint on the side. I'm gonna put a letter. Okay, what letter does it look like? Looks like an I or an L, but we're not done yet. Here we go. Yeah, you're right. It's the letter B. B for bird. <laughs> yeah, because we saw so many birds today. Okay, let's rinse out our brush. Now, we have a B on this side, and let's make another thing, another design on this side. That's my second favorite color. Well, they're actually tied. <laughs> yeah, blue and orange. Here we go. All right. This, we're going to draw another letter, okay? Here we go. Can you guess what letter? Yeah, looks like an I or an L again. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> yeah. I did another B. Yeah, B for Blippi this time. Whoa, we have B for Blippi and B for Bird. <laughs> All right, now. It's time to go find this birdhouse a tree limb. So then the birds can have their own home. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa, check it out. It's the perfect tree for the perfect birdhouse. Wow, this is a pine tree. See all these long pine needles? Yeah, some birds love hanging out by this type of tree. 
So let's put the birdhouse right here. This looks like a great limb to put it on. Yeah, just like that. Whoa! Does that look cozy or does that look cozy? <laughs> yeah, it looks cozy. <laughs> if I was a bird, I'd definitely want to hang out in there. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B L I P P I Flippy. Good job. All right, now I'm going to go home. <laughs> oh, I can't fit. <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. And today, we're here at Dogwood Canyon Nature Park in Lampy, Missouri. <laughs> and you and I get to go horseback riding. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get to see some horses and feed them yummy snacks and even go for a ride. Woohoo! This is going to be so much fun. Come on. Whoa, check it out. We're here inside the stables and I can't wait to meet all the cute horses here. <laughs> hey, do you know what sound a horse makes? <laughs> yeah, they make a neighing sound, kind of like this. Hey! <laughs> oh, can you make a neighing sound too? <laughs> yeah, awesome, good job. Hey, I have an idea. Let's act like horses together. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Time to do some trotting and some galloping. <laughs> Nay! Whoa! <laughs> well, that was pretty silly. <laughs> Ooh, but maybe there's a horse we can go say hello to. Oh, well, look! <laughs> oh, hello there! Hi! <laughs> oh, oh, hi, what's your name? My name's Chance. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Chance. I'm Blippi. <laughs> and who is this? This is Max. Whoa, well, hi, Max. Can I give Max a pet? You sure can, I'll even let you give him a treat. Oh, okay. Ooh. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Hold your hand out flat. Yeah. What kind of treat is that? That's an alfalfa cube. You getting ready to feed him, would you like to come? Whoa, yeah. <laughs> Max is one cute horse, and we definitely want to make sure Max has all the yummy food. <laughs> Whoa, check it out! It's a giant tractor! <laughs> Whoa, Chance, what's this for? We needed to carry all this hay to feed the horses. Oh yeah, there's a lot of hay over here. And horses love to eat it up. <laughs> well, do you think I could drive the tractor? You sure can. You want to jump up there and follow me? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and I've driven a lot of tractors before. <laughs> Ooh, let's go. <laughs> here we go. found another horse. Ah, oh, you are so beautiful. <laughs> oh, and what what's this horse's name? This is Charlie. Oh, hi, Charlie. <laughs> can I give Charlie a pet? You can, you <laughs> sure can. Okay, hi, Charlie. Ah, <laughs> oh, you are so sweet. <laughs> oh, and what kind of horse is Charlie? Charlie is a paint horse. Oh, a paint horse. Whoa, <laughs> you see, Charlie is the color white and the color brown. <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. A paint horse that's two different colors. Like someone painted Charlie. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, and Charlie is so soft too. Whoa. <laughs> oh, look, Charlie has some hair. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, that's the horse's mane, right? Yes, it is. Whoa, whoa, Charlie, you have a beautiful mane. <laughs> oh, well, Chance, do you think I could go on a ride? Yeah, if you'll let me. I think he's about done with his breakfast here and we'll <laughs> take oh, him yeah. out and <laughs> saddle him up. Yum! <laughs> Whoa, okay. Are you all done? <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, I think it's time to ride. So first things first, we just need to take Charlie out. Yep. Okay. <laughs> here, I can take this. You wanna take that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and I'll grab him. Ooh. Step back a little bit. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> here comes Charlie. <laughs> Whoa. Can you do me a favor? Sure. And go get that other cross tie over there? Okay. <laughs> oh, here you go. 
Thank you. Walk way around him. Oh yeah, you don't want to get too close. <laughs> and here you go. <laughs> oh, Charlie is so beautiful. Well, before we ride, what do we need to do first? Well, we got to brush him. Mm, yeah, we want to make sure Charlie is nice and clean. Ah, <laughs> yeah, and it's also important to check the hooves. Yeah, where the horseshoes are <laughs> in case a rock or some dirt got there. Oh, Ooh. And are these what the things we're going to use? Yeah, we've... Whoa, we have a brush, right? <laughs> That's a brush, and then the other's a curry comb. Whoa, a curry comb? Mm-hmm. Whoa, look at this. Oh, yeah, it has all kinds of little edges, zigzags on it. Hmm. And what is this used for? Let's knock the dirt and the mud off. Whoa, yeah, off the bottom of the hooves. <laughs> okay, well, what should we do first? Well, let's first let's groom him where the saddle's gonna go, everywhere where we put the saddle. Okay, well, here we go. <laughs> go like that. Ah, <laughs> it's so fun to brush, Charlie. Ah, yeah, and we wanna clean off this area because the saddle is gonna go on top and we don't want it to be uncomfortable for Charlie. <laughs> uh, okay, well, that looks pretty good to me. <laughs> Next, we need to check his feet for dirt and debris. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna see if he'll pick his foot up here for me. Whoa, Whoa that's pretty dirty. <laughs> Whoa, we definitely wanna get some of that off. Well, look, and you see on the bottom of the hoof, there's a horseshoe. Well, why do horses need horseshoes? Because it keeps the rocks from hurting their feet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's nice and comfy walking around. <laughs> Whoa, we brushed Charlie and we cleaned off the hooves. So what do we need to do next? Next, we need to saddle him up. Okay, well, let's go get a saddle. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're here in the saddle room. <laughs> oh, and Chance, why do we need a saddle? And because it helps you balance and then it helps keep your horse comfortable. Oh yeah, you definitely want to make sure the horse is nice and comfy. And it's nice if you're comfy too, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it looks like there are a lot of saddles here. Looks like there's probably a lot of horses, right? <laughs> oh yeah, I think we've got 45 here. 45 horses? Whoa, that's a lot. <laughs> but we just need to find one saddle for Charlie, right? <laughs> yep. Okay, well, let's see which one's Charlie's. Hmm. Looks like, looks like there are names. See, Smoke and Coriente and Alex. <laughs> Whoa, look at this one. Blue, <laughs> I like that name. <laughs> and do you see it? Charlie, <laughs> yeah, we found Charlie's name. Oh, well, Chance, does that mean that this is Charlie's saddle? That is his tack. Whoa, yeah. Well, is it okay if I take it down? Yeah, go ahead. Be oh. careful, though. It's heavy. Okay, here we go. <laughs> whoa! 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 This is really, really heavy. <laughs> yeah, look. Really heavy, and it has a seat. Hmm. And what's this here? That's a saddle horn. That's what you can hold on to if you need to. Oh, well, yeah, definitely helps to keep your balance. <laughs> whoa! And what are these here? That'll be what you put your feet in. Those are called your stirrups. Whoa, look, stirrups. Whoa, yeah, you can just slide your shoe in right there. So you're nice and balanced and your feet aren't going all over the place. <laughs> oh, and what's this here? That's a saddle pad. That helps cushion the horse's back from the saddle. Whoa, yeah, it's nice and squishy, <laughs> really soft. So when you put on a heavy saddle, it's nice and comfy. Well, I think we should probably take these over to Charlie. <laughs> Let's go. <Ooh. laughs> Hi, Charlie. <laughs> Whoa. So first we want to put on the saddle pad and then, ooh, maybe you can take help that me. from you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> and then we put on the saddle. Let's see. Here we go. Whoa. Ah, Charlie, that's a nice looking saddle you have over there. <laughs> so it looks like we need to put the saddle on the saddle pad and then Drop it in. <laughs> see. Whoa. So we put some straps under Charlie's belly, but what's this right here? This is a breast collar. Whoa. And what is that supposed to do? Keeps it from sliding too far side to side. Mm hmm. Yeah. If you're on a saddle on a horse, you want to be nice and safe. You don't want to be too wobbly. That could be uncomfortable for the horse 
and it might be uncomfortable for you too. <laughs> Aw, Charlie, you are so sweet. <laughs> Thanks for letting us go on a ride with you. Oh, so there are one, two straps we want to do? Three straps. Oh yeah. <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to forget the front. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Well, it looks like we've finished saddling Charlie. <laughs> and now what do we want to do next? You want to go ride? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go take Charlie out and go for a ride. <laughs> Whoa, I can't wait to ride Charlie. <laughs> oh, good thing I have on my helmet. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> we're out here in the arena <laughs> and think we're just about ready to start riding. So what's the first thing I need to do? Okay, first thing, let him know that you're coming up here. Okay. <laughs> Give him a nice pat on the neck. Aw, Charlie, I'm gonna get up in the saddle. <laughs> okay, now yep. let's put that foot okay. all the way up here. Grab your saddle horn. Okay. And then big quick up and over. Whoa, <laughs> thanks Charlie. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> Whoa, okay. this is so fun. Now sit nice <laughs> and even up there. Whoa, and then I hold the reins like this, right? Yep. Okay. And if I want to go forward, what do I say first? You're gonna say walk up and give him a squeeze and then a kick with your legs if you need to. Okay, walk up. <laughs> Whoa, good, Charlie. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> and if I want to stop, what do I say then? You're gonna say whoa and pull back on the reins. Whoa. <laughs> Aw, oh, Charlie, you are such a good horsey. <laughs> well, this is so fun. Now, I think it's time to go for a ride. You ready to go <laughs> out on the trail? Let's do it. Okay, time to go to the trail. Here we go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're here on the trail. <laughs> Whoa, Charlie, you're such a good horse. Oh, and Chance, thanks for riding with us. You're welcome, glad to have you out. Yeah, oh, and what's your horse's name? This is Smoke. Oh, hello, Smoke. Aw, <laughs> oh, Smoke looks like a good horsey, too. <laughs> Whoa, so nice to be out here on the trail. And it's getting a little bit warmer, too. If you notice, the green leaves are starting to change colors. Yeah, some of the green leaves are turning yellow or orange or red. <laughs> oh, Chance. Can you ride on the trail in all kinds of weather, like snow? Yeah, you just gotta watch for it being too slick. As long as the, the ground's firm, then you can ride. Whoa, oh, that definitely sounds fun, riding in the snow. But <laughs> I like this weather better. <laughs> it's not too cold. Today was awesome, yeah. We learned how to groom and saddle a horse. <laughs> and we met Charlie, we even got to go for a ride. Oh, and Chance, thank you so much for teaching us all about horses today. <laughs> Thanks for riding with me, come back and see us. <laughs> oh, I certainly would love to. <laughs> oh, and I'll see you too, Charlie. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Ready? B L I P P I. Filippi. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you real soon. Bye bye. <laughs>